Hello, hello everyone. My name is Sifstra, and welcome back to Imperial Splendor. So, as you might be able to hear, I am uh, I'm a bit ill, and uh, that was the reason why I didn't get a video yesterday, unfortunately. And, uh, yeah, yesterday was very, very bad. I, I could barely actually stand up, and pretty much have to lay in bed the entire day. So, I will say, fun, quote-unquote. Um, way to um, spend the entire day. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna cut straight to the chase here, because this video is going to be, hopefully, a bit shorter. Uh, well, one, because my voice is kinda iffy, and secondly, I actually want to uh, be able to watch a live stream of the next Total War game uh, being announced, which, of course, when this video is uploaded, has probably, well, it should be been announced. Yeah, uh, it must be. I can't actually render th that quickly. Anyway, uh, what I found out, what I realized, uh, was that uh, I can go ahead and take out Denmark, but I don't really have to. What I do have to is to pay attention to my objectives. And I actually forgot that I put it on a short campaign, which means that the ob objectives are actually to capture these provinces and then take a certain number of victory provinces within 1750 and now we're in 1741 after a lot of turns of um, of recruitment so what I found out I had to do then was unfortunately to declare war on this massive blob right there and it gets worse because they are allied with let's see if I can find them there we go Austria, Württemberg, Russia, Bavaria, and Westphalia, and they also are, um, they also have a protectorate, which they should drag in, so that'll be fun, but I guess we'll go out on a blaze of glory here, in a blaze of glory here. So, what do I have to answer? Well, I have, uh, an entire army of land infantry. Uh, two units of um, noble cavalry and uh, then three uh, 16 pounder uh, mortar battery and uh, they are actually very very large I think there's actually closer to oh, what's it like 46 pounds <coughs> quite a ridiculous amount anyway that's one army which is going to try to capture Berlin and I have another one here in Kiev, which will try to take Warsaw as quickly as possible. And uh, yeah, this is probably going to be uh, this is probably going to be me who has uh, who will be on the uh, receiving end of most of this. <coughs> but at least we will go ahead and try. So let's go ahead and declare war. And we do not have any allies. Huh. Okay then, so I was very lucky, because apparently no one actually wanted to join them. That was really, really weird. Huh. But I'm not gonna, com <laughs> not gonna complain about that. We're just gonna go and jump straight into the battle and get it over with. And here we are. So, let's first set up our mortars. We can actually put them straight in the back here, yeah, as far away as possible, because their range are... Let's see, what was their range again? 2,000, so yeah, we don't have to worry about any of that. <coughs> anyway... We have a few units, which I think will make a very strong center. There we have it. And then we'll take those guys and then these guys. And have them push forward. With the help of cavalry on either side. 
There we go. And here we go. So here we have the 16 pounders. Yeah, I guess I guess we have to try to rush this. And we're doing some nice damage. Ten men down here and six men down there. Actually I think we'll focus on these guys. Hmm. But I'm actually very close to them. Actually, I might be so close to them that I can just go ahead and rush them down with my cavalry. That'd be very nice, and actually, then rather have my mortars go for their, um, their cavalry. Completely undefended. Yeah, that that was a bit weird. I didn't think the AI would just let their artillery just stand there and take it. Oh well, I'm not gonna complain about it. Not when it's Definitely, to my benefit. Oh, reinforcements. Reinforcement artillery. Let's go ahead and try to cut that off with our cavalry. There we go. That was nice. A delicious little, little treat. And are they trying to canast me? Huh. Pretty extreme range to try to use canister. Hmm. Ooh. Hmm. That didn't actually do any damage to them. Miraculously. And, it, and they didn't protect these guys either. Huh. AI, what are you doing? Yes, I am doing loads of damage. That's very nice. Let's see, once again. We have 130 range units, which are outranging us. That's always fun. Actually, I think we can... We can go ahead and push up our center here. With the mostly elite units. Hmm. Also, I should mention the Polish Lithu Lithuanian strong suits. Um, that is pretty much only their cavalry. Everything else is basically not that good at all. So that's why I want to use my my superior bayonet skills in order to rush them down. <coughs> 
sorry. <coughs> but that of course means that I have to look out for his cavalry. Oh. I see. Hmm. He also lost her general. Hmm. Yet more units. And here comes the cavalry. So, I think these guys are as good as dead now. Unfortunately. Well, we are actually doing a lot of damage. But then again, these guys are noble cavalry, so I guess I guess I should have expected that. Let's see. Good targets for my mortars. I don't know, actually. Because I'm really mopping these guys up. And I'm <coughs> actually, in, I'm actually very close to all of them. And mortars are not the most accurate units. So... That might be a slight reason for concern here. And yes, these Swedes do what the Swedes do best. Doesn't even look like we need our reinforcements. Might be handy, of course. Yeah, there we go, the cavalry routed against unscored line infantry. Huh. I guess I underestimated my own units here. I was actually expecting, well, not expecting to lose, definitely, but I was expecting to have a harder time in all this. Also, these guys are still doing a good job. Huh. Oh. They might drought now. Yeah, they're taking a lot of damage. I guess it's time to it's time to send in the odd unit. Stopping a charge like that, that might not be, not be the best idea. Actually, lasting a while. I'll give him that. Ooh, yet more juicy artillery. And yeah, the rest of the battlefield are ours. So all we have to worry about are the reinforcing units. And I guess breaking this cavalry, cavalry unit right there.
Just take those off fire at will. And have a merchant with the bayonets. Oh, they actually managed to set up the cannons. Hmm. Good on you. I am taking a lot of damage though. From these, uh, these eight pounders. But hopefully that was it from these guys' route. Actually, shatter immediately. Hmm. That was actually a lot more one sided than I thought it would be. And I'm not complaining about that, it's merely an observation. Okay, so we actually had 3,472 men. And... Hmm, 2,018 of the Polish-Lithuanian troops. I don't think... No, they definitely were, weren't reinforced by Hanover. Hmm. I guess that was a good thing for me. So... We are ready to go ahead and uh, kill off uh, Hanover. At least try to. Before I take a look at my chances there, I'm gonna send uh, the second army in and have them mar march straight on Warsaw. So yeah, I will go ahead and fight the Battle of Hanover against Lots of the troops which we already killed, and pretty much a fully functioning army. So that'll be fun, but that will be happening in the next part because I don't want to cough into your ears anymore. It was, this was just a video basically to, to say that, well, basically to say why I didn't upload yesterday, and uh, I was better now, but I definitely have a little bit to go before I can start making videos again, good videos again. So yeah, I'm not gonna not gonna have you suffer any longer, and I will therefore see you guys next time. So I hope you enjoyed it, um, nonetheless. And yeah, hopefully you are as excited as me about the next Total War title, which I mentioned at the start of this. So yeah, other than that, um, nothing much really, just that, that I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.